know, uh, normally we have in the hydraulic machines, we have a pump that needs many electricity for make the pressure. In this kind of electrical machine, we don't need a lot of electricity to make that, that force. Short, sweet, and to the point. And no, I'm not talking about my friend Juan or myself. We're gonna do this machine, the servo brake, hit all the key points and get you back to your regularly scheduled program. But Juan, thank you for being a part of MTD. Uh, thank you for inviting me. Let's talk about servo brake, right? We're taking material and we're just forming it into really cool positions and allowing these dies to do the work for us, hopefully with big projects over and over and over again, right? That's what we're looking at with this machine? Yeah, that's right. This machine that we are showing now, the servo brake is one of the machines that has most technology and is a good option for our customer because it's eco-friend. So when we're talking about this machine, you've described to me that we have electric and we have hydraulic, right? And this is an electric version, but yeah. it takes less electricity than the hydraulic version. Am I correct in thinking that? Yeah, that's it. You know, uh, normally we have in the hydraulic machines, we have a pump that needs many electricity for make the pressure. In this kind of electrical machine, we don't need a lot of electricity to make that, that force. What are we able to form when it comes to the material capacity on this machine? Well, uh, here normally we take uh, like first material, uh, carbon steel. In carbon steel, if we have a, a, a die of two inches of long, we can bend until one quarter of, uh, mat uh, of material. Juan, you're amazing. Thank you for sharing information about dinner, about the servo brake machine, and uh, what its capabilities are here in Mexico. I always enjoy my time in Mexico. Thank you all for watching, and join us again soon.